Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to custom paint um, another figure that I'm actually I'm going to show you. Now, the one I'm actually going to show you guys is this right here. I'm going to show you how to custom paint the Power Rangers Dino Fury Dino Knight, Dino Knight Red Ranger. Now, before we continue, guys, uh, before we continue on, if you guys already seen the the original review for this figure, go ahead and check it out. So, if, and also, if you guys want to see the last video I did for how to custom paint, go ahead and check it out on the end of the video. Same thing with the full playlist. Or, if, or if you don't want to check it right, don't want to have time for it, go right ahead, check it, and the information symbol on the top right, alongside with the original video that I did a review on. So this took me about two to three days, and it was a pretty, more like a bit of a complicated paint, custom paint, but also completely easy. So I'm going to start off with what stuff do you guys need to do, but before we continue on, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Alright, make sure you go ahead and my brain has stopped working. Make sure uh, you guys go ahead and do that. And let me show you what stuff, what you need. Of course, you need a figure and a weapon. And let's put that to the side for now. But, just, but what paint do you guys actually need? Apple Barrel, um... Matte finish, uh, jet black. Let's put it here for now. Apple Barrel Gloss, uh, black. Those are the brands that I'm using. Also, you need some Fork Art Metallic Starring Silver. I know you cannot see the brand of it. It's kind of a bit faded, so yeah. But you need Fork Art Metallic, uh, Starring Silver. You need Fork Art... And minerals, and minerals, and minerals, this metallic gold. Next you need the fork fork art um metallic Christmas Christmas green and last but not least um the deco art lipstick red, which is this one right here. And then let's see multi surface, so yeah. So these paints right here, I actually got them at Walmart. I think this one I actually got them on Amazon, or I think the... Well, if you guys live in Texas, they have the Texas Art Supplies, but most of the paints you could guys find it at, at any store, the same thing in any art store. So yes. Uh, we're going to start off with the weapon first, then, then the figure. So let's begin with the custom. All right, we're going to start off with the weapon first, which is this one right here, which I actually forgot the name. The U.S. version name of this one, but it's the Japanese version of this one. This is the Max Ryuso Changer. Now, starting off, go by the claws first, and want to starting off by painting silver. First thing first, paint the tips of it right here. You can see that there's a little bit of scratch on it. Make sure you have like a good quality color silver right here, because mine I think is kind of screwing up. But yeah, do that first. And make sure you get it to the side if you could barely can. Get them to the side here. You can see. After that is finished. Oops. Next thing to do is come by to the bottom and paint everything around it. Do not get the red part on it. Make sure you get everything down on the bottom and black, jet black. After that, you want to paint the button right here in red. And that's after that is finished. Make sure you paint the side right here after the bottom is finished and same thing with the handle. And this I'll actually get on with this later after I'm done showing you this. There's a little bit of scrape down here. After this, make sure you want to paint the side of the weapon of the Yusu Max Changer. Jet black, you can see like that. And after that is finished. The handle right here, I use transparent nail paint, a, a transparent transparent clear nail paint to make sure to, to grab it. I did that to my Hanzo figure and it works. Sometimes it will have a little bit of scratch on it, but you make sure you have the hands 
make sure you have the hands some holding something else so you can grab it paint it grab it in then you could paint it around it with the trans with the transparent a clear a clear nail paint and after that is finished the green part right here that you guys can see it is already painted in so it's already painted in on on when I did a review on it so yeah make sure you get the black area right here you guys can see and make sure you paint the whole area that you guys can see in black it will cover up the, the teeth on it but you don't worry you will paint the teeth back to original walls and also you have like a, a small small uh, paintbrush make sure you carefully paint the side right there you can see on the eyes yes you will cover up the eyes but don't worry you will fix it that up after I'm done showing you this and after that is finished, you want to paint the metal piece right here in gold. Yes, the detail will be covered up, but if someone can make a repo label so it, so they can see how the black detail on it, I'll be I'll be actually grateful. But you can barely see the detail of it that the resold logo, right there. And after that, grab your silver and paint the the silver part right here, 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 and here. You guys can see. And after that is finished, grab your uh, lipstick red and paint the part right here in red. You guys can see, in the red area right here both side and after that's finished paint it this area right here because the original gold on it was kind of terrible so painted it in metallic gold you guys can get don't forget that on the teeth and after that's finished make sure you paint the eyes in Christmas tree green the eyes here here and don't forget this part right here and that's finished you got the max resource changer finishing up and there you go this was kind of a bit complex for me it took me hours you know painted around it so yes so after that's finished, now we're getting on with the figure. We're starting off with the bottom of the boots right here for the Dino Knight Red Ranger. And I started off painting jet black right here, around it by the way, to give it more luck and TV show accurate. And I also did the same thing with the Lightning Collection figures. Most of them I painted in gloss black, which is kind of a bit, was a kind of a mistake on me. So I used jet black to make sure to have like, to have like, it's smooth, doesn't have any like, you know, dust on it so yeah so don't forget to paint around the boots you guys can see and that's that I finished drying up come to the gold area right here where it's at and you want to paint around everything in gold that you guys can see paint everything in gold and after that is finished paint the kneecaps right here on both sides same thing with this part right here I got confused of it because I forgot to mention one thing in my review this is a bit taller, like the actual TV show, so I don't know why it has to predict that. So yeah, you want to paint that part in gold also. On both of them. After that finish, on the original figure on it, um, this, this, this part right here is not painted fully uh, black. So I did paint it black. And you want to make sure you also get the kneecap. You want to get the also the inside right here on the knees. And there too, on both sides. For some reason, the left side is... Kind of a bit stiff, which I don't like. So you can see, it will have like a little bit of paint scrape, but it's much better to just have it for display alongside with the rest of the figure. And if this happens, just paint it in, and there you go, that's finished. Coming by to the arm, painted the cuffs right here, you guys can see, and gold around it that you can go all the way around, you guys can see on both of them. This is a, this one I have to change the Ryuzo Changer, of course, the Dino Fear and Morpher. And this part right here is not painted red, so you want to paint it red both sides, one on the left and the right right here. So after that is finished, come by to the morpher right here, and you want to paint the part of the morpher around it like that in black, jet black. All the way around you guys can see. After that is finished, focus on it. Paint this part area right here and red, you guys can see. After that finish, paint the eyes in Christmas tree green. Just find it like a, a very pointy uh, paintbrush to have like a little dot on it. After that finish, make sure to paint the red on the button right here. After that also that's finished, paint this area right here in silver. After that is finished, make sure you leave a gold trim right here like the original toy I have. The Japanese version of it, of course. After that is finished, come by to the belt. And you want to paint the belt and gold. And you want to paint the belt strap all the way around and silver. Because the original toy I have and 
like a light gray color so you want to paint it around and and silver after that a finish paint uh, make sure to paint this area right here and gold the whole thing right here most of the original color of the gold right here have faded in so i would recommend to use silver to cover it up don't forget to paint the silver right here so first gold right here on the lines that you guys can see after that is finished paint paint the silver area right here on the body Give it more TV show looks accurate. After that is finished, you want to paint the side right here. You guys can see the side, the side right here, and silver, both sides. To give it more like a TV show accurate. After that is finished, come by right here, paint this area down here and gold all the way around. You guys can see the red part. You leave it like that, and the glossy black right here on this area. You guys can see painted in glossy black. After that is finished. Paint the silver tips, spike tips, and silver. One here, here, and here. Same thing with the other side. Don't forget to do that. And now for the head. You want to make sure... I will recommend to start off with the lines first. And a small, small paintbrush. A point paintbrush. So get at that first to paint it small. To paint it in on the helmet. You guys can see. I replace it in gold. So paint it all the way around it. And make sure don't forget to paint it the part of it over here you guys can see where my dirty ass nail going to there you go so don't forget to paint that and after that finish after that finish you're finished with your figure so yes and now i'm gonna give it the fun of pose and congratulate you that what you did so yes so congratulations we now you already finished painting your dino knight red ranger and hopefully you are proud of your paint of your custom don't worry if the paint if you see the paint is getting scratched up just remember get the color what you need retouch fix it up and there you go this one like I said this it took me about two or three days to custom paint this one and I'm very actually I'm actually pretty excited on my work anyways you guys I'm actually gonna end this right here of this tutorial have fun stay safe and I'm always I'm out also before we continue on if you guys already heard what happened to the news here in Texas, uh, may God bless on these poor innocent people who who died from this terrible tragedy. So yes. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye.